This is not a sponsored video. This hair was not sent to me. I bought this with my own money. This is a hundred percent honest review. Hey loves, it's Angelica aka Angie B. If you are new, my name is Angelica. I post videos all about hair, a little bit about a little bit about beauty and skincare, but it's mostly hair, natural hair, wigs as you guys can see. If you are interested in knowing more about that kind of stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It is linked right down there as well as the bell icon, which just ensures that you guys will get notifications every single time I post, but you will not be spammed. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So in this video, I am going to be reviewing this gorgeous hair right here. Like I said in the beginning, this hair was not sent to me. I am not sponsored. I found this hair myself and I bought it, so I thought I should review it. I should review it for you. I've had this wig for about four weeks. I haven't worn it every single day, but I've tested out some styles and stuff with it. So now I'm going to go through 10 actually 11 different questions that you may have about hair when you're thinking of buying hair because when i want to buy hair i come to youtube to look for people who have tried hair and see if it's good and all that and these are some of the questions i might have so i thought i'd include them but of course if you guys may have any more questions you can always ask them below at the end of the video so let's get into the first question so the first question you might have is what company is this hair from it is from a company called Sealy hair and this is the hair that I got. Sealy hair is on AliExpress. I'm not sure if they sell on Amazon as well, but I know they also have their own store. So some people prefer to buy from the actual store. That's like the same store on AliExpress because apparently some people say the hair is better, but I bought it from AliExpress and I have the packaging, but I did film it as soon as I got it because now it's been like a couple weeks. I tried to keep it, but it doesn't look as fresh as it did when it came. So on the side of the screen, on the side of the screen here, I'm going to insert some videos of what it looked like when it came. It was just like your standard zip kind of bag. Um, and then it came in a, like, not DHL, another inter... If I sound weird, it's because I have a flu, sorry. Um, like an international shipping thing because I ordered from China or the States to UK and then from the UK to here because... Shipping turns out cheaper that way for me because I have to pay for courier services, even though the shipping was free when I ordered. So as part of these questions, I'm not really going to include shipping time because it's basically international shipping. So it took like maybe two weeks to get to me, but I'm pretty sure it takes two to three days to get to you if you're in the States. The next question is, what is the origin of the hair? This is Brazilian hair. This is actually the first time I've ever tried Brazilian hair, I've always got Peruvian hair because most of the time I would leave some of my hair out and my hair would sort of blend better with Peruvian hair. But now that I'm wearing wigs and I don't have to care about leaving any leave out or anything like that. So if you guys can see this thing right here, this is just my microphone. Anyway, um, now I decided to get Brazilian hair and I don't think I want to get Peruvian hair again because I like this so much better but honestly I've heard lots of stuff about AliExpress companies that most of the hair is kind of the same but what I find is the textures are all mostly the same it's just more of what curl pattern do you have because even when I got the hair it wasn't labeled like the bag and my invoice and everything said Brazilian hair but on the pack it just said like virgin human hair so it's possible that all the hair is like basically of the same origin but if you want to get exactly the hair I got I got the Brazilian body wave and that's into the next thing what is the texture and the curl pattern of this hair this is the Brazilian body wave and as you guys can see it is straight in this video because I straightened it but as soon as I got it I wore it curly just the way it came and on the side here again I am going to show you exactly what the bundles looked like when they came they had a very uniform body wave texture and this takes me into my next point oh by the way the hair is extremely soft and very very silky so if you don't like extremely silky hair which i don't know why you wouldn't um maybe you might want hair that's a little bit on the stiffer side like maybe like indian hair but this one is very soft and very very silky and the exact hair i have in my hair is the brazilian body wave in 16 18 and 20 inches of course the shortest bundle is 16 inches 16 inches 18 inches 20 inches and then the closure is 14 inches which is like this piece here as you guys will see this is what it looks like and it is a six by six closure this is the first time 
I have ever tried a big closure. I was thinking of getting the five by five closure, but then I was like, well, the six by six, let's just try that one. And this closure is actually huge that I think I would actually like a five by five. I don't mind it. Um, I didn't have enough time to blend my baby hairs and everything properly. So I'm not gonna show you the full thing. It's from here to here. So it is a huge, huge closure, which takes me into the closure. Lots of people have questions about closures because closures I know are a very, problematic thing sometimes they are a completely different texture than the hair that you have this one is exactly the same texture as the rest of the bundles there's also the thing of excessive shedding um so i'm going to tell you about this closure this closure came pre-plucked you will see in the footage here um of exactly what it looked like it was pre-plucked it was beautiful i still went ahead and plucked just a little bit more but at the same time i don't like it to be too thin because my own natural hairline is very full so i kind of like to match my closures to the fullness of my own um hairline and what I like about this closure, first of all, this is the best closure and the best hair I have ever had, hands down. Like I said, I'm not being paid to do this. This is 100% honest. This is the best hair I have ever got. Best bundles, best closure, like just the flowiness, the softness of everything is just amazing. But let's not get sidetracked. Back to the closure. The closure came with no baby hairs which I appreciate because this is the first time I have ever gotten a closure without baby hairs. And I don't think, honestly, I don't think I've ever seen a closure that says like comes with pre-cut baby hairs or I think it's best to just look at the pictures. But if you get the exact hair that I have, um, like I said, the Brazilian body wave in these same things, then with the six by six closure, then I know 100% there are no baby hairs that are cut in. And that's what I really like because sometimes they cut a lot of baby hair out. And then if you don't want to do baby hair or you only want to do a very little bit, then the rest of the baby hair is just kind of like flyaways and you just might end up just cutting that part of the closure to get rid of them because that can be very annoying. Luckily, this did not come like that. The closure was extremely full, but anywhere where you part it, let's see. Can you guys see? I don't know if it's focusing, if it's zooming in because I'm far, but it looks very natural because I don't like it when, sure, it's a six by six closure, which I've never had, but just in general, I can tell by looking at other people's hair, um, when it's just too full and it's just unrealistic, like in this part of the hair, most people don't have extremely, extremely thick hair. So that's what I like. It is full, but it is not too thick at all. As you guys can see, I'm really enjoying combing this hair. And if I didn't mention this, this is a free part closure. As you saw, I was making the lines. Today, I decided to make the line in the middle. It's quite dark here, so like I said, you might not see it, but I decided to make a line in the middle. It is very easy to make a line anyway. I always prefer to get um, a free part enclosure because I can pluck it and do whatever I want it than getting like a three part or a middle part because I feel like those restrict how you're going to do your hair and then the hair grade or the quality all i can say is all i can say is what it's written on the website at least when i was ordering is that it is remy hair i don't know if it said like 8a 9a i heard that those actually don't matter like there's nothing like 10a 12a whatever like it's just like a weird grading i don't know from what i know that apparently doesn't really matter so i don't care about that i just care if it's high grade or good or bad or whatever so this hair is really really good it is remy hair and i know remy hair gets a bad reputation like because i think like human hair when they sell like in the beauty supply so store synthetic hair it's written remy on it which doesn't make any sense but i guess it's just like they've sewn it in the style of remy hair remy hair just means that the hair the cuticles are all facing in the same direction when the hair is sewn so let's say this hair was actually growing out of my head if they shaved it down or they put the hair like in a ponytail if they put the hair in a ponytail let's say like this and they cut the hair right here they do not disrupt the hair and mix it up. They will keep the hair tied like this on a bundle. And when they sew it, they will sew it. Of course, it will be brushed straight down like this before. When they sew it, it's going to be in the same line that the hair was growing in those cuticles. So then you don't get like flyaways or weird textures or 
thickness in some places and thinness in some places because the hair is all sewn evenly so remy hair actually means the hair is pretty high grade and it's just more referring to the way the hair was sewn and then the other thing you might want to note is that remy hair is not the same as 100 percent virgin hair because virgin hair means completely nothing has been done to it it's just like this is what my hair grows like out of my head i cut it off and you get it but of course remy hair and most aliexpress hair and just hair that you buy from these companies like any other hair companies if the hair comes in an even pattern like how the body wave hair comes or like when you get um the loose wave um kinky whatever texture you get if all the curls are in a completely even pattern in the bundle that is absolutely impossible that someone's hair would be 100% even like that even after processing and sewing the hair on tracks there is always like steam processing um some companies might dye the hair so like if you get a blonde bundle obviously it might say remy hair because it was sewn in the style it is not virgin hair because the hair has been dyed it's been colored it's been steam processed so obviously this is not virgin hair if you get virgin hair it will be a hundred percent in the texture that it comes in the curl pattern will be uneven unless maybe they just like use a flat iron or something and then as soon as you wash it it immediately goes to the natural texture then that is that's another thing that's possible but to get this kind of texture and the evenness that the body wave came in those are that's like steam processing and all that that does that to the hair and this goes perfectly into the next point which is a question a lot of people have and I had the same question which is does the hair smell unfortunately this hair does smell I'm not gonna lie to you um, the 16 inch bundle had a very extremely faint smell like I almost couldn't smell it but the 18 inch the 20 inch and the closure had quite a strong smell and I really think by the way people describe this as a corn chip smell I don't think I exactly know what a corn chip smell is so I'm not going to say it's got a corn chip smell I don't know what it smells like but it's not a nice smell I think that this smell comes from like when they're doing the whole steam processing thing and whatever they rinse the hair in, I feel like that's where the bad smell comes from. Because if I think about it, every single time I've been to like a hair salon, I haven't been to a hair salon in like, I don't know, two or three years now. But when I have been in a hair salon, when they're like a lot of people blow drying people's hair at the same time and other people are flat ironing and people are in hair dryers, there's a really bad smell that comes out of that. So just imagine an entire factory non-stop making hair. The hair is just going to trans. Like, I mean, the hair is porous. The smell is going to transfer into the hair. Now, does the smell stay? No, it does not. If you like, you can co-wash the hair and you can mix in some sort of um, conditioner to make it smell nice. Some people put like hair fragrance on the hair. I personally do not do that. I got the wig, I sewed it on just exactly how it was. Now, if I was doing a sew-in and sewing it onto my head, I would have washed the hair before, but if because I'm just making a wig out of it, I thought, let me see what's gonna happen. So I just sewed it straight onto the cap. I made this wig by myself. I don't think I said that. I made the wig myself, so this is not a professional person who did it. I might actually remake it because I feel like it might be a little small, but anyway. Back to the point, the hair did have a smell after like a day after I flat ironed the hair and left it out. Well, I just added a little bit more wand curls the first day, but after that, like the smell basically disappeared. So no, the smell does not last. So for the next question that a lot of people have, especially when it's long hair, it is, does the hair tangle? I am going to say the hair does not tangle for normal hair. How can I rephrase this? It does not excessively tangle. Because if hair is this long, no matter how silky or fine your hair is, if you leave the hair for the entire day and you don't comb it and you don't do anything, of course it's going to tangle. Like, it's not magic. Of course the hair is going to tangle. But does it tangle excessively? Does it collect or gather? Absolutely not. Compared to any other hair I have, I can run my fingers through it every single time. I don't get any tangling or anything like that. Of course, I've been combing it. It is completely straight, even in its body wave straight, even in its body wave state. And when I put curls in it, I could run my fingers through it just as good as this. And there were no tangles, no nothing. It hasn't done that thing where, like, when it's really hot, it connects, uh, collects at the nape, and like gets into that hard ball thing. Because sometimes after like a couple of days, that's when you can really see that the hair is doing that. 
this did not do that so i know that it does not tangle but of course if you're not taking care of it if you're putting like some weird products on it like moisturizers or something that's making the hair sticky trust me you will get the most expensive hair in the world you will make it tangle so make sure you know what you're doing with your hair next question is does the hair shed again this one is in the same line with tangling if you're excessively brushing your hair and combing it and doing all that it's going to shed and like this time when i was running my fingers through it all this time i got this one two i know you probably can't see the hair from here i look like a crazy person but i think i got two shed hairs you i'm pretty sure you can't see them anyway every time i like comb my hair a lot and brush it and all that i get about two strands of hair which i think is pretty appropriate the hair is sewn on tracks even hair that's on your scalp comes out although you can't compare it to this because hair naturally sheds without doing anything this is not the kind of hair where you walk around after combing your hair and you find like hair all over the floor and stuff like that no this hair definitely does not do that this hair does not do that absolutely you will never find random shed hairs lying around the closure does not shed but i also want to note that i did not bleach the closure this time and i think i might because i don't know if you guys can see it but i can kind of see the lace and the lace that i have is the not transparent swiss lace so it's like a light brown color but i think it's slightly ashy because i can see it and i didn't want to bleach the knots because i hear a lot of people saying sometimes when you bleach the knots it makes the bundle shed it makes your closure shed easier um i've never had a closure shed more before but just because this closure was kind of on an expensive side i wanted to risk it i'm not sure if i'm going to bleach the closure or not but so far without bleaching the closure there's no unusual shedding or anything like that i haven't even really seen any head hairs from my closure it is very very sturdy and it is also easy to pluck at the same time so that's a good thing next important thing about the hair is this should be the ninth tip or the tenth one i think it's the tenth tip does this hair hold a curl it absolutely holds a curl so amazingly i think body wave hair is the most versatile hair it is the best if you want to wear your hair straight and you also want to wear it curly i haven't done like tight like spiral curls or anything like that but i just did like big loose like waves and stuff i might do a tutorial on that but you know like the classic bombshell or beachy kind of waves those waves stayed so well and a tip i think they would work better if you flat iron the hair first i haven't done it yet but i think i'm going to film a tutorial because my hair is just so much softer and sleek because it is extremely hot and humid where i am right now so i think the curls will stay better before even in the humid weather it was like five days and the curls were still super nice and defined but they were a little bit more big and fluffy than i would have liked and i think that's because i didn't like flat iron the hair or do anything to it i just curled it in its original state and i did really big curls so like the heat wasn't going all the way through and um, because of the humid weather i think it made it like just a little bit too much for me and it felt like a little heavy because it's so like you know when the curls really absorb the moisture in the air but i think if i curled it like this after flat ironing the curls would be even more defined and they would last way way longer and so yes if that humid weather those curls could stay definitely in whatever other weather you're in the curls are definitely going to stay and as you guys can see if it flat irons it flat irons beautifully it is if it straightens well it straightens beautifully it is completely bone straight this like when i straightened this hair i got so many people who dm'd me from when they saw me with the hair curly asking me if it was the same hair because it literally looks like completely different hair when you flat iron it and that is what i want from my wig i want it like every time i do something different to it it looks like a completely different wig and i think this is the wig for that it can curl it can be straight it can just do so many good things if you've reached this stage and you might want to buy this hair you might be wanting to know how much i bought how much i paid for it now luckily i bought this on the 11 11 sale so it was on sale and i had two coupons that i found one was like i guess an 11 11 coupon and the other one was i think like the first one was an 11 11 coupon from aliexpress in general and then the second coupon was like from the hair company for their 11 11 sale i paid 125 dollars for this hair the original price now is 143 dollars for this exact hair that i have and this is 
very affordable i'm not gonna lie the price is one of the factors that influenced me into buying this hair over the other hair because you know sometimes the hair is like really cheap you're like mm, is it really worth it because sometimes cheap hair is just not the way to go but i think this one is really really worth the money it is not too expensive compared to other companies that don't even give hair that's as good as this hair i mean i've heard about lots of companies um sending influencers better hair than what they sell to the customers and i don't know how that works but i think this is the exact same hair that you receive if you order the exact same hair that i got i know most people get like 26 inches 30 inches so always know that the longer the hair the shorter the bundle is going to be like the track so if you're going to do and buy this exact same hair that i have but you want to get longer lengths you might want to get an extra bundle because just in general from almost any hair company if you're getting longer hair the tracks are shorter so you will need more hair to get to achieve the same look that i have which is like quite full i used all the bundles i just left like one little tiny like a piece this long if you're getting shorter hair it will obviously be cheaper if you're getting longer hair because you know the longer the hair the more expensive it is if you're getting longer hair it will be more expensive than this um this is like the longest length of hair I've ever got and I think 20 inches will be the longest hair I will get. I don't like to get excessively long hair that I might sit on and luckily I'm really short so 20 inches is basically at my waist so those are some of the perks of being short. If you enjoyed this video or are enjoying it so far please give this video a big thumbs up because it will let me know that you guys might want more of these videos, more reviews, more wig kind of videos. If you aren't subscribed or you didn't subscribe in the beginning make sure you hit my face right there and also watch the two videos on the side of the screen right here if you guys might like to see any of the other videos of my channel on my channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye